What's going on guys, John Elder here from CodeMe.com and in this video, we're going to add an about the author section for our app with Flask and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to create an about the author section. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodeMe.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership with all my courses, videos, and books. Runtime fee is just $49, which is insanely cheap. And I announced last week that price is tripling in the new year. So if you want this special $49 price, you have to order right now. So to do that before time runs out. Okay, in the last video, we created this default profile picture. In this video, I want to create an about the author section. So we've got blog posts at the bottom of each blog post. I want to put the profile picture and a little blurb about the author, right? So that's what we're going to start to look at in this video. So if we look at our profile, I've already changed it here, but by default, we did not have this section. We didn't have this little box. So we need to make a change to our database, change to our web forms, change to the pages itself. And that's what we're going to look at in this video. So let's head back over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal, as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this Flask series. So check that out if you haven't seen it so far. Okay, so let's come through here and let's look at our hello.py file. And if we come down here to the very bottom, this is where our database stuff is. And this is our user model. And we've got an ID, username, name, email, favorite color, date added, password hash, and posts. Right, so we need to add another column to this database. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy our favorite color column. I don't know why we have that, that's kind of weird. And I'm gonna create a new one called about underscore author. Call it anything you want, it really doesn't matter. And I don't want this to be a string, I want this to be db.text. We want a sort of a box, a text box. And so we'll do that. And 120 characters, oh no, let's, um, I don't know, 500 characters. I don't know, whatever you want. And then I want to make this nullable equals true, just in the case, you know, they don't want to fill it out or whatever. And we can play around with that a little more later. So, okay, that looks good there. So now let's head over to our web form. And that's webforms.py. And up here at the top from WTF forms, I want to import a text area field. And that's just, you know, one of those square boxes that you know, basically looks like this box, right? It's a little bigger than these single boxes that we've been using up until now. Okay, so text area field there. And let's come down here to our user form. And I'm just gonna go ahead and copy the favorite color one again. And let's change this to about underscore author. And this is not gonna be a string field. This is gonna be a text area field. And what do we want the label to be? about author. Okay, that looks good. Go ahead and save this. So we've made a change to our database and a change to our forms. Well, specifically because of the change of the database, we need to make a migration and push that migration into the database. Anytime you make a major change to your database, you always have to update the database by migrating it. So let's head back over to our terminal and control C to break out of here. So let's migrate this thing. Let's go flask db migrate. And that's gonna be a dash M. And now we want to give it a little commit message. I'm going to say uh, about author column or just about author. That's fine. Just a little message to let us know what we're doing here or about author added, maybe. That looks good. Class db migrate dash m about author added. All right. That looks good. And it says, you know, done. <laughs> All right. So now we need to push that migration. So it's flask db upgrade. All right, so let's flask run this guy and head back over to our website here, hit reload, and we see nothing on this page. So we need to make some more changes here. Let's head over to our dashboard page and let's see if we scroll down here, this is the actual form itself. So I'm gonna come down here to the favorite color one and I'm just gonna copy this bit of code. Uh, we want a line break here, so I'll add that. I'm just going to paste this in again. This is form dot not favorite color about underscore author. All right. So let me copy this. And then also here form dot favorite color should be form dot about author. And down here, name to update dot about author. So if we go ahead and save this, head back over here, hit reload. Okay, now we got this box. But if I type some stuff here and click submit, 
and then hit reload or go to a different page. Whoops, logged out. Let's log back in. Password one, two, three. If we come back here, all that stuff is now gone. We're not actually saving it to the database. We need to make a change to our main hello.py file. So let's go to our hello.py file and I'm gonna search for update and we wanna go to our dashboard function, right? And you can see here's all of the fields we're committing to the database. So I'm just gonna copy this guy and paste it in again. And this is gonna be named to update dash about underscore author. And we can copy this and here about underscore author. So this will actually save this information, right? And uh, that looks good. So, all right, let's come back over here, hit reload. Now let's say uh, John Elder is the founder and CEO of codemy.com. Now, if we click submit, user updated successfully. Now we might wanna add it up here too. So if we come back here and uh, go to our dashboard, we can just sort of copy this guy. And maybe we wanna put this above here. So instead of date join, we can put about author and current user about underscore author. Save this, head back over here, hit reload. Here we see John Elder is the founder and CEO of codemy.com. Okay, so that looks good. Now we want to add this to, you know, John Elder's posts. So super easy. Let's head back over here and go to, let's see, post.html. Come down to wherever we want to put this on the page right here, I think. And this is just going to be post.poster.about underscore author. And we'll also put the profile picture in here eventually in this little area. But for now, we just want to put this on the page. You can see we can reference this poster through the foreign key that we set up way back when. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this. Head back over here. Hit reload. John Elders is the founder and CEO of Codemy.com. Go to post and go to Tim's post. He has none. So uh, we might want to change this to, let's see, make a little if statement here. So let's go if poster post dot poster dot about author Get rid of that be sure to end our if and on a, on a tab to make it look pretty so now we come back over here boom that disappears for tim we go to post go to john it's there for him we go to the dashboard it's still listed there and that looks good now you'll notice if you scroll down here this box is empty which is kind of a problem so we can sort of hack around and fix this if we want uh, by using the old school HTML text area box instead of this code right here. So we could go text area, uh, let's go name equals, and this is gonna be about underscore author. We want to do a class of form control. That's just, you know, this guy right here. The about is this guy right here, right? And let's just, yeah, move this down a little bit. And then we close our text box, our text area. And then inside of here, we can just put the value sort of manually, right? So boom, 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 and just paste that in. And for some reason, it popped up another one of those. So then we need to take care, and then we need to remove this. So if we go ahead and save this, come back over here, hit reload, that should work. We're getting a uh, weirdness here. So if we click submit, looks like it's saved. And again, it's bopping it over like that kind of weird like. We come over here and we see we've given it some space here so I can get rid of that space. There we go. Now, if we come back over here, it's very finicky that way. Now, if we hit, now if we hit refresh, that looks normal. And we could check it out, go to a post page. That still works there. Okay, and that looks good. So we've got our update profile page. You'll wanna make changes to this as well. We've also got, you know, just when you register the first time, there's no area there for that by default. You might wanna add that yourself. Uh, same process we just went through, but uh, yeah, pretty cool, pretty easy. 
And that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube button to get $30 off memberships. They pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.